Hello Promixers, welcome to Promixing and Mastering. Today I'm gonna teach you and show you how to back up your files uh, in Cubase 5 and uh, Cubase 5, yeah, and um, Cubase 10.5 and also in FL Studio and uh, I'm using FL Studio 20 and basically it's all the same with the uh, updated FL Studio that you have right now so um, I'm doing this for you guys and sometimes you like send me files in a wrong way so I believe that this is just gonna solve your problem and in case you didn't know about it this is just gonna help you so don't forget also to um, subscribe and share this video so that others too can learn how to back up project files before they send them to promixing and production at gmail.com so let's start with cubase 5 so let's say this is your project all this and you're done and you want to send uh your projects for your project for mixing or mastering so this is what you do and basically it's all the same so what you do is after you've done all the recordings and everything you finished and now you just want to back it up the first thing that you do is minimize your your cubase and then create a new folder so just come to new and then come to folder so let's say this is a uh, um project one so you just put it there uh project one or any name the name of your your song or your mix so this is gonna be project one and then in project one go back to cubase uh five and then come to file just uh left click file and then from there come to back up project remember it has to be an empty file this is why we had to create that uh project one uh uh file why because if the file is um, filled up with something, it's not gonna back up. So let us go ahead, search for that file that you created, and here it is, project one, and just click on that file, and then click OK, and then something's gonna pop up. Make sure you click on Keep Current Project Active, and then uh, don't check these two boxes come to remove unused files this is gonna help the file to reduce a little bit and then come to do not back up video in case there's a video there and then from there just click OK the backup is gonna start uh, and finish up in a few seconds from now I believe in 40 seconds this thing's gonna uh, be done just wait for it to finish up uh, backing uh, the project is a little bit big so it's just a matter of patience for now and everything's just gonna be backed up you just make sure that you don't click on a board once you click on a board Part of the files are gonna be backed up and some of the files are not gonna be backed up and what you're gonna have is once you send in your files some of the files are just gonna be missing and it's not gonna be uh, able to be your your project is not gonna be able to be worked on because some of the files are missing so what you aim for is that you just patiently wait for everything to be backed up so that uh, everything uh, can open up and yeah, one thing that I want you guys to know is that everything that the plugins are not going to be backed up. Plugins are not going to be backed up. You have to send those plugins in case while you're sending the project uh, to they have no uh, plugins that you used. So you can like prepare plugins and just zip them up, compress them and send them separately. But in this way, it's just all this and all everything that you did that is gonna be sent and uh, also maybe uh, and also some of the the live instruments that you had to play in but if you use something like um, like a native instrument an instrument from let's say waves or 
Cubase or Hypersonic or anything. Uh, let me give you an example. Let's, let's pull up Purity. And let's say you like used Purity to play something there. Purity is uh, it's not going to be, let's say for what you're sending it, they don't have Purity. Everything you played is going to be there, but it will ask for uh the missing file of purity missing plugin i mean it will indicate uh a missing plugin so you just have to like send in also the plugins or ask uh the the one who is working on your song if they have the plugins and uh things that you used and then if they have then if you just back it up and send it it's automatically gonna be able to open so now that we have backed it up let me minimize this and let us go to project one so this is our project one and this is how uh, a backup file looks like here you have your audio your edits the everything you edited what you did and here you have the images of your your uh your your mix and here you have this cubase uh uh document this is the one that you click to in order for the project to to open up in cubase so once you're done just uh click on it and then zip it add to raw just zip it up and then send it to uh the one you want to 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 send it to so now that we are done with cubase 5 let me just uh uh minimize cubase 5 and open up cubase 10 so this is cubase 10 and what you do is basically the same you just come to uh make sure you create a, another folder so this folder is going to be uh project 2 project 2 so there we go we have project 2 and uh let me just pull up cubase 10 uh, 10.5 so what you do is come same procedure just come to file and then from there come to backup project uh don't back up uh the same project in the same folder unless you've created another folder just like what i said so uh look at where you you your file is project two so this is our project two and what you do is just select folder and then uh click this one uh leave these two just click also this one remove unused files so that your backups can be a little bit uh, smaller do not back up video and then from there click ok and then backing up is gonna start or initiate and then you just have to patiently wait just like what I said don't click on our board just wait for everything to to back up in a proper way this way uh, everything that you worked on the vocals the bass that you played in the leads that you played in the other uh, percussions that you played in just everything that you had to put into your you play into your mix is just going to be backed up in a proper way and of course after you've done that make sure that you uh zip it up use winra winra is a lot of uh uh winras which are winra is almost everywhere so you can just uh, uh, purchase WinRAR or download it somewhere and uh, zip up your your files so that they can be uh, compressed even more. One GB can be compressed to to uh, an MB. So that's the most important thing. Don't send in used file. So now that we are done, let us go to project two open up so we have our audio edits images and we have uh, our file cubis file that we can open up so we have project two project one and project two the last uh software that i'm going to show you is fl studio and basically what you do is the same minimize let us create a folder for it uh this one is going to be project three so project 3 this is gonna be for FL studio so open up FL studio and then go to file and then come to export and then come to 
zipped loop package so that's that's where you come to and then from there just click ok and then locate the folder where your folder is in this case it's uh, project 3 you just open it up and then click save then something is gonna start do a uh, uh, saving right there right here processing zip file FL studio zips up your file and the files are done and what you're gonna get is simply what's played in here the leads uh, percussions everything but the plugins are not gonna be sent so make sure you find out before before you send in those files so that they can open up and in case the producer there doesn't have the plugins that you used you can simply uh, uh, put up a folder for those plugins and send them in case so that your uh, session can open up from there so now that we have project 1 from Cubase 5 we have project 2 from uh, Cubase 10.5 we have project 3 from uh, FL Studio so let us uh, go ahead and open up project 3 open it up and here we we are FL Studio has zipped it for us let me let's just open inside and see what's there check it out check what's inside so exactly what I told you guys uh, we have here I have all uh, my 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 loops and everything that I played in them here we have an FL Studio project file the one we can use to open up all this but plugins are not backed up they need to be sent separately or if maybe the producer or engineer has all those uh, uh, plugins then there is no problem they are just gonna load up automatically load up so guys this is how you uh, professionally back up your uh, project files your your mixes in case whenever you want to send them to uh, um, a mixing engineer so this is the way you do it and uh, if you wanna let's say turn these all these into one zipped folder just create a folder for for all these and let's say project uh, project 4 project 4 just get all the files put them in one folder yeah, and then from there double click and open it up select them all and then uh, add to ra come to add to ra then from there it's just gonna start uh, compressing and zipping all the folders into one just like you can see all these are zipped up into one uh, zipped file called project 4 so once this is done what you what you do is just come on that file and then uh send it or email it to to where you want it, you you want uh to uh, where you want it to to go to and then they are just gonna receive it i want you guys to look at how much uh space that we are gonna have after we have um zipped all the the uh three three uh folders this one is reduced to 864 this was very big this two is reduced to 868 which is very big uh it was bigger than this uh project three is reduced to 32.2 uh the reason is because fl studio had to zip it for us and compress it for us so now we're just gonna check uh, the final thing that we are gonna do is to check how much space uh the all these combined into one are gonna have so let's wait for this to like finish up compressing and zipping and then from there we are gonna check the space how big this file is gonna be now that uh the zipping is done and compression is done let us check out by refreshing check out how big this zipped file is it is 124 1.24 gb compared to one two three this is much better so this is how you uh 
back up your files and also zip them professionally i hope this video helped you i'll see you in the next one <music>